Hey y'all. It's February the 19th, 2015. Making this just about the 50th day of bear watching, as you can tell. Pretty much back to where it always was. I might even grow it longer, but that's not why I'm talking to y'all here today. I'm making this video today because I have honestly a pretty big problem with the Girl Scouts and not um, little girls in general, but the Girl Scout Association who just about now, this time of year, every single year, they come out and they sell these Girl Scout cookies. Now, I didn't buy these Girl Scout cookies. They're not mine. And I never buy these cookies. Uh, I don't like these cookies. You might ask, well, what's your, what's your big deal about these cookies? Why would you... Why would you have a beer for the Girl Scout cookies? First of all, what upsets me is the Girl Scouts... I know you don't even have to tell me. They don't receive hardly hardly any of that profit off the cookies. Alright. Secondly, they don't make these cookies. Alright, they're learning nothing. It says how to take boxes and sell them and make money, kinda of like a drug dealer would do. Thirdly, you know, I took a look at, you know, the ingredients as I usually tend to do. When I was taking a look at these Girl Scout cookies, and I couldn't help but notice a lot of things. There is a, a sincere lack of vitamins and minerals in there. They got they got four percent of iron up in there. And that's all right. Um, but the ingredients just aren't very good. It kind of sounds like pretty simple. I mean, they've got enriched flour, and they try to throw in a little uh, B vitamins up in there, some folic acid. But see, and I, I meant to break this down for y'all earlier, but check this out. When you see, it, it says right under the ingredients, contains wheat, milk, and soy ingredients. Um, and you'll notice that on a lot of packages. Anyways, let me break this down for you. Wheat, that's going to have gluten in it, which is already, it's not really good for a lot of kids. In fact, most kids, some, some kids get affected a lot more by the gluten, so they have to cut it out. Some kids don't really necessarily have to cut it out, but it's something to think about. Also, if you do cut out gluten, you're going to want to supplement with fiber, and pretty much everybody knows that. But anyways, yeah, it's got wheat, it's got gluten up in it, so and cytotoxins are going to be up in this cookie. It's going to make children excited. And I mean, that's not a big problem, but then it, it also contains milk. Now, if you ever see a package anywhere, it says it contains milk, and it doesn't say, um, you know, restricted RHBT cows on it. And, you know, y'all, y'all all seen that. They don't use our, our, the growth hormone that they like to throw up in cows. It says this on every single package of food that you'll ever buy that doesn't use these cows. So, any package that, um... That does not say that they prohibit the use of the RHBT uh, cows. It obviously has it in there. So this does have hor growth hormone in it. Understand that? It absolutely does. Growth hormone. Uh, and then a soy ingredient. And it's pretty much just the same. Any package you ever buy, ever, that does not have GMO soy is going to say it, and I'll tell you why, because if, if you print out that you don't have GMO soy in your product, then people will pay a lot more money for it than they already do, and that's just known, so every single package that does not have GMO soy on it will say GMO free soy on the package, and this one does not, coincidentally, so like I said, uh, and this is one of the one of the easier cookies as far as you know, not having so many ingredients in it, but it does have wheat, gluten, uh, growth ho hormone, milk, and GMO soy in it. And that's Girl Scouts doing it for you. Uh, and yeah, they don't make them. So, anyways, the reason I was so mad 
the reason this upset me is because I had to walk past like these Girl Scouts and I have to look like I'm snobbing them or whatever, but I don't want to get up all in their business and I don't want their cookies. I get my own cookies and my own candy bars. Believe it or not, they're of a lot better quality. For example, right here, oh man, it's upside down, Lara bars. And I just found these out about like maybe a month ago. They're wonderful. All around wonderful. They have, I mean, if you read the ingredients, first of all, and you look at the uh, dietary nutrition facts, you're going to see a lot more vitamins, a lot more minerals up in there. You're going to see higher fats, uh, good fats, um, less calories. You're going to see, uh, shoot, less sodium. You're going to see potassium, which is not even in the Girl Scout cookies. I don't have potassium. Forget about that. Um, you're going to see more carbohydrates. You're going to see uh, dietary fiber. There's really no fiber up in these cookies. You're going to see more sugars, but you know, I mean, it's going to be worth it because these layer bars are freaking good. Secondly, I'm going to have more vitamins and minerals such as phosphorus and copper and magnesium, things like that. And then if you ever come across some of these layer bars, and I'm seeing them more and more, you'll notice, you look at the ingredients, and they're pretty simple. Like right now, I'm looking at the lemon bar, their lemon flavor bar. It says dates, cashews, almonds, lemon juice concentrate, and natural lemon flavor. That's it. That's, that's, all, that's all the ingredients. All right, they keep it simple, real simple. And then you'll notice if you look at, and they have a lot of different flavors, like for instance, lemon bar. Peanut butter jelly bar. They got cherry pie bar. There's a chocolate chip cherry torque bar. They got a chocolate coconut chew. There's a blueberry muffin bar. They got a coconut cream pie bar. Uh, apple pie bar. Shoot. That's nice peanut butter cookie bar. There's a chocolate chip cookie dough bar. I mean, they got all sorts of flavors. I don't even think I have all their flavors. So plenty of different flavors to choose from. And you'll notice on every single one of their bars, even their chocolate chip cookie dough bars, the main ingredient is either, say, cashews or dates, which is a fruit if you don't know what a date is. Dehydrated fruit. And they, they mold them into these bars, these little handy bars. Uh, and I would tell you, uh, all all the the flavors that they describe taste exactly how they describe them, exactly how how they do. So you could carry them in your back pocket or do whatever, and have desserts wherever you go. I mean that's the lifestyle I live. So I don't know about y'all. I mean it feels pretty good to always have desserts where I go. Secondly, gluten free. Obviously, couldn't tell it's gluten free because there is no wheat in it. Uh, it also happens to be vegan. If you were concerned about that, and it's dairy free, so you don't really have to worry about the hor the hormone cows being up in there because it's dairy free to begin with, and it's kosher. Um, it's just an all around better bar. I'm not even a Girl Scout, but you know, I mean, it would just make sense to me. I don't want to throw it out there that you know Girl Scouts should start slinging these bars because they're better, they're better for you. They're good. They taste better. They're all around better. And if the Girl Scouts were to adopt these bars instead of these cookies, then these bars would become less expensive. Like for example, if you buy them at the store right now, you'd probably get them for like a dollar twenty-five each. Which is worth it. It's definitely worth it, but it's still kind of pricey. To bring it down, uh, hopefully the Girl Scouts of America will agree with me and you know heed my suggestion. Uh, I don't know, I'm gonna holler at some of them See what they say about it. Throw them some candy bars, some of that good stuff, and, and see what happens. I mean, this is how we're gonna turn around America right here. You know what I'm saying with delicious candy bars. Anyways, it's a. It is February 19, 2015. It's about 50th day of Beard Watch. Like I said, uh, you know, Gas Watch is still kind of going on. It's obviously doing exactly what I said it's gonna do. It's about at 205 a gallon right now. It's only going to keep getting higher and stuff, so keep watching for it. Um, I don't remember too much else. 
MSN, uh, the the MSN NBC network, they're crashing. They're totally collapsing. So, um, the curse of Al Sharpton really is upon them. I'm gonna have to watch out for that. Uh, I'm gonna have to get back to y'all because I gotta go work out real quick. Um, I'll probably talk to y'all tomorrow.